The last time I tried to use the shaker, I poured everything. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Akronamo Ifini here, and welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Sunday. It's Sunday, June 30th. I don't know if you can see. It's about 3.33 p.m. And let me tell you guys something, okay? It's Sunday, so you know it's the laziest day for me of the year, of the year, of the week. So, I was chilling in my room, watching TikToks, as usual, and then I saw something. <laughs> I saw somebody make, um, I saw somebody make a martini in there, like, it, it was an easy step and whatever. I was like, hmm. We have a bar that we don't use. It's just chilling. It's always just chilling here. Chilling, okay? We don't use it that much. So, given that I have time, let's attempt what I saw. So actually, I went to Google, of course, and I like searched. Whatever she did was intense. Like she did too many steps. I was like, <laughs> if I start doing a lot of steps, I'm gonna mess up. So, I went online and checked what is the easiest way to make a martini because they had like olive juices and whatever and I hate olives <laughs> so much but anyway so I saw this one you just need um you just need London dry gin and vodka and something called lilac lilac to blanc I don't have that I don't have that <laughs> so I'm gonna find something to let's just collect what we're gonna use okay for the london dry gin i have the tanker nothing is sponsored okay i'm just bored so we have the london dry tanker so that's what i'm gonna use um i haven't specified what kind of vodka i don't know if you guys can see the vodka is up there <laughs> If I break something, hold on. You guys cannot see. Let me let me expand the screen. We have them up here. Um, let me get a stool because if I attempt to get it out just like that, I'm gonna break something. Okay, so we for the vodka we're gonna use um I don't know how to pronounce this. Kohar Kohar Platinum um vodka. I don't know if you can see. And then the next thing that we need um. Something called lilac, lilac blanc. We don't have that. So I'm gonna go with the lime mixture because, you know, I don't know if it's gonna work, but who cares? <laughs> We're improvising, okay? And that's it. And ice. I have a bunch of ice that I just took, and that's it, right? Okay, so shaker. We have that. Okay, so this is our shaker. I look, oh my god, I've never noticed how much this bar looks like, like we're in like a club or something. We're at home, don't worry. So we have a mix, a shaker. Okay, so we start pouring things in. Fine. I, the last time I tried to use the shaker, I poured everything. <laughs> how do you open? Come on. Yeah? How do you open? I'm, I've already started. If, if, oh my god, it's not opening. How do you, how do you open? Oh, I got it open. Okay, let's rinse it out a little bit. I actually have no idea when it was last to use. So let's rinse all pieces. So, next step. I'm following like recipe, let me show you. I'm not even kidding. I have like a little methods, like the steps to use is what I'm using, so. Pour everything in. Okay, we need. Okay, where is that thing? So here is the scoopy thingy. I don't know. There, there's no amounts in here. How will I, how will I know? 11. 11 Oz. 11 Oz. How much is that in ML? Oh, <laughs> it's not 11. It's 1. Actually, I don't know. 
Let's try. I don't know what I'm doing. I, 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 I do not have any training, so anyway. Put everything in plus the eyes. So we have eyes. Because we have to put eyes here and eyes there as well. Whatever. So we have eyes. And then 60 ml of London dry gin. Okay. So here's this. I'm going to assume that this um, tall part is 60. This is... Oh, it's two, it's two Oz. So one Oz. I don't know what Oz is. I don't know why I keep saying Oz. I don't even know what that is. Like what? Whatever. It's how the people... Okay, so one is 30. So we need 60. So yeah, this one is two. The bigger size is like a double shot. So let's use that. Okay. Who do not pour. Okay. And then for the vodka, we're gonna use the other side because we only need like 20. So we're gonna use this smaller part. I actually don't even know how this one tastes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's actually, I know how Tanqueray tastes. I always know how that tastes. Let us. Um, okay, I have a small shot glass. Let's just do a little taste test on this one. Just a little bit, a chintzy bit. Whew. Hmm. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So. Yeah, we need to put just one of those. There we go. Okay. And then what's the next step? The next step is, okay, they want 10 ml. Really? Just 10? With all this liquor? Okay. <laughs> I guess that's why Amartini is like one of the strongest um, cocktails ever made and uh, this and I think um, a Negroni maybe okay lime is just lime let me just taste that I think this one actually neutralizes it better is it why am I tasting it I know exactly how it tastes like it's just for to neutralize the taste I already have in my mouth from uh, the vodka so I don't know how they hold it like this. Let me try. <laughs> they hold it like this. Uh, that's 20. Ooh, and then. Hey! Really, that's all? There we go. We need to like mix this. Yeah, mix it. And then strain it into a frozen. Oh, I was supposed to freeze my glass. Eh, what is the time? Okay, so how do I shake this without pouring? Because I'm scared. Do not open. I've been trying to shake. How do they I'm actually scared because like I feel like if I shake it too much, I'm gonna like it's gonna explode. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. Not trying to do that. Let me put this away so I don't hit them by mistake. Oh, it's frozen. Oh my god, it's freezing. Okay, given that I... Oh my god, it's, it's cold. My hands are freezing. Given that I didn't get around to freezing, I'm gonna use this glass just because it's cute. So I have some remainder ice that I'm just going to. I don't think I can do that with this one. It has a weird shape. Maybe I can. You just take a little ice and like ice the glass. 
Don't ask me how I know how to do this. I found it somewhere. Somebody doing it. I was like, okay. Because I didn't get to freezing the glass. This is the best we can do with the situation. Perfect. It looks frozen. Okay. And then. How will I open? Oh my god, it's not opening. Because <laughs> I needed to open like the front part alone. Ooh. Yeah, I caught a little bit. I knew I wouldn't like do this entire thing without causing just a little bit of mess. Just a little bit. So now we pour. Ooh. It has a weird color. I think it has a weird color because I used the lime. Let's taste it. Cheers. Okay, yeah. It mostly just it tastes a lot like vodka. So this is it tastes a lot like vodka, like the gin. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the lime, lime, and then the remaining ice cubes. This is not traditional to do this in a in a martini, but I'm gonna. I kind of want to neutralize the taste a little bit because it's quite, it tastes quite strong and then I'm going to use this and like stir it a little bit. Yeah, now it's better. Yep. Now it tastes better. Here's the thing. What am I saying? Right, it's time for cleanup. Clean up. Where am I gonna? Okay, I need to wash this. Um, and this, and this. Um, hmm, I need to wipe this countertops. Let's just clean up because if I leave it like this, I am going to get. I can't like leave it like this. Then. Okay, guys. So right now it um it's four oh nine, and it's time to cook. I'm not sure if
good morning you guys um uh, today is monday july 1st it's 8 48 and i have a 9 a.m appointment oh my god i have to go do my nails i decided to do my nails the first day of the month you know just for a good start of the month um i i don't even want to talk about it see i was supposed to wake up at like 7 30 to make to my 9 a.m appointment however my, my ass woke up at 8 woke up at 8 and I still wanted to like look cute it's my new um, goal to always look put together before I leave the house you know a little jewelry like I have my everyday jewelry on <gasps> excuse me it's like the goal okay I just I don't want to like walk around the street looking like I'm homeless we are not doing that anymore <laughs> So now I have like 10 minutes to get to my appointment here's the thing though it's not really that far <laughs> it's literally probably 10 minutes away but sometimes there is a traffic okay there's just always like something but I'm gonna try and use the quickest way there of course I haven't seen my nail tech in so long. I haven't done my nails in God knows how long. It's been a while, y'all. It's been so long. The thing is, eh, at first, I didn't know I was doing it. However, okay, guys, so like I was saying, at first, I didn't know, like, why I don't want to do my nails. I just, after the last nails kind of fell off, I didn't even think about doing my nails. I wasn't thinking about doing my nails. Because, one... I feel like my nails were a little too sensitive like they were so sensitive and they were just I just I couldn't handle it I couldn't handle just how um, sensitive and weak they were so I was like I'm gonna give it some time and you know recover that time became I don't know how many months like three maybe four or five I don't know like this year okay I have those um, I have those decal nails that I put for myself and I think I did that twice maybe because to me they're like better than um they're like better than doing like my full nails so I put in I put in the Sticar nails for a while okay so maybe maybe I'm gonna say like four months maybe because I remember my nail tag during my birthday he, he like texted me and he's like why the fuck are you like having like a celebration and whatever and you are not Having, you, you don't have your nails done. <laughs> I'm gonna come soon. Okay, we're gonna solve it. I'm gonna come soon. Don't worry. So, yeah, now it's that time. Let us go and do my nails. I'm doing my nails and my feet. I am doing very, you're gonna see, very subtle, very, um, I know, very short, very subtle. I don't want the long nails anymore like ever like ever since you guys remember my trauma with like this one nail every time like I did something kind of like got off I have broken my actual nail twice so when it comes to long nails I don't fuck with them no more but tiny cute little nails that's what I'm going for I have so much energy this morning I don't know how, why Okay, I struggled to wake up a little bit because for some weird reason, last night I struggled to sleep. Like, I really, I tossed and turned and I don't know why, okay? Nobody leaves their parking lot like that. Like, leave slowly, little bitch. Anyway, what was I saying? If, I wish you could have seen how she pulled out of, her, like, her whatever. You don't pull out like that. You go slowly because there are other cars on the way. You are not the only car. Anyway, this is it's too early. It's too early for me to start arguing. It's too early. Bitch, too early. Okay. Why the fuck? Okay. See, I'm not even asking anymore. There's just weird shit's going on. And why is he 
okay oh there is no traffic my direction so i am happy about that Ugh, this this little car is annoying me As it's like she can't see where the f is driving it's annoying also everything f annoys me nowadays so it's a thing Ooh. anyway let us go get my nails done he's about to call I know it's 8.55 I need to get there in 5 minutes I know he's gonna call oh by the way guys I got a new phone <laughs> eventually we solved my phone situation we solved it I got a new one anyway Let's go. Okay. Seriously, I'm stuck behind Alana right now when I'm like in a hurry. I'm sorry, I get it. I was once there as well, but sometimes when you're in a rush, you kind of don't want them in front of you. I'm not hating, I'm just saying. Sometimes you just do not want to have them like near like in front of you because you know they're gonna go like slow as hell I remember when I was learning how to drive see yeah. <laughs> I went to AA driving school and I remember we were, I was taught by a I'm gonna call it a semi truck maybe like it's a small it's a small truck it's a small lorry it wasn't a big one but it was still a lorry and it was manual okay it was a manual car and I remember like we used to go all the way to past Kitengala like I think it's called what it's seen other side we used to go far and I, 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 I nailed it however well I didn't nail it that much some where in the middle I used to forget to change the gears and whatever but the thing is I got my license after being trained how to drive with a manual car now you give me a manual car right now six years later I cannot I cannot I got my license in 2018 November or something so that's like five and a half or five and three quarter years ago Right now you give me a manual car and I'm stuck. I am stuck. I could I, I'm just stuck. I cannot. I have arrived before he even called me. <laughs> Whoa, what time is it? It's 901. Let's go. Let's go get my nails done.
kumbuanga na rasa pozi na hiko shua na nataka ni na kaiwe Okay guys, it is so much later. Um it's about let me tell you. It's about 12:32. I just finished getting my nails done. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see my nails? They are so cute. Anyway, I have errands I need to run. Okay, I, first of all, it's so hot. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is so freaking hot. Oh my God. I have a couple of errands I need to run. Um, I need to go to the market, to the market, to the mall. I need to do a little shopping. <coughs> Um, I basically need to like buy a couple of stuff, um, puppy, puppy snacks, and then milk and a couple of other things. And then, anyway, what I was saying, right? I have to go um, um, buy some snacks for the puppies. I go to the supermarket and get a couple of things, and then um, I need to run to the bank and do something for my mom she wants to she, she um i need to run some errands for her in the bank so that's what we're doing i am actually hungry like i'm starving now i didn't eat anything in the morning because because what am I saying right I didn't really eat anything because one I don't really like eating in the morning I don't like eating first thing when I wake up I just I don't know how to do that so I am you know I just I just left the house what am I saying it's so hot I'm trying to figure out what is it that I'm doing oh, he's not gonna let me through is he Come on, somebody let me through for two seconds. Seriously? He's gonna let me through. Yeah. I don't fuck around with buses. I don't fuck around with buses. You don't think like they speed so much and you know they don't have the like capacity to break. Like they don't break that easily. Like when they press the brake, it don't it don't work as quickly as it's supposed to. So I tend to avoid them. So today is a Tuesday, July 2nd. And I just finished um getting ready. I have to film a sit down. Um how am I gonna phrase it? It's more of um sit down, let's talk about the second half of 2024, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to achieve, you know, how to stand on business. So this is our look. Look at my makeup, it is popping, y'all. Anyway, so let me show you. But today this is my setup. Um, I'm just gonna have like my bed and like that painting as my background. Okay, so gonna um it's let me show you it's looking like this can you see it's looking like that hi right, guys so plan is to do this sit down and then um and then i do a couple of tiktoks i want to do this little dance for megan the stallion's new japanese song i need to do that i need to do that but i'm gonna do that after i have finished filming my chit chat so we're gonna talk late hey guys so it is so much later it's like almost 5 p.m i have finished making all my content and what i want to do right now is i want to take a shower get all of this up and then we start working on my video my hair is already up the jewelry is all gone it's time to get unready and um start working on my video um oh before i go i want to show you guys something i know like i remember showing it to you guys yesterday but um look at my nails this is the nails i went for they are 
this is like um i want to say beige or something nude just a beige i went nude and then this blue actually like it has can you see it has like sparkles inside it looks amazing so let's take a shower good morning you guys well actually it's more like almost mid-morning um yeah it's 12 so good afternoon today is um when is today today is wednesday 3rd july it's about 1201 um i'm headed over to iphone because i need to see if you guys remember this phone remember my previous phone yes I want to go and see if they can um, fix it, revive it, whatever. Because it's still actually um, in good condition. I mean, look at it. When you remove the cover and everything, it looks quite brand new. So, I want to like go and see if they are, if they're going to like be able to fix it and everything. And yeah, we can move from there. So these are the errands I have to run today. So let's get started. Let's go. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you guys see my sunglasses? <laughs> the Rain by Aircra um, Instagram is linked down below. So just go there and order whatever sunglass tickles your fancy go there and see what you would order because yo they are bomb as fuck if you can see they look amazing so go on and do that if you guys can see i am wearing my sunnies these are um i don't how do i call them over like it's frameless um frameless triangular sunglasses they have an awkward triangular shape and um, they're not very dark so you can actually even wear them for like night events and things like that oh. things like that finally they are like putting towels in a like bin area so that you know it can be easily cleaned what was I saying? Right. Yeah, perfect for like a night event or an evening event, mostly for like, you know, celebrities because you don't wanna, you wanna wear sunnies even at night. So these ones are not actually dark. They are very, very bright and you can see through. So head on down, head over to Rain by Aircra, um on Instagram. I have it linked down below and you can order your pair now they're very affordable so yeah and it's free delivery in Nairobi so go order right now I'll wait it's okay I'll wait I'm driving anyway so I'll wait anyway so who child I'm actually I'm wearing a bra today and I'm feeling a little uncomfortable I hate bras even if this bra was like properly made and whatever it's still a bra and i'm not feeling it i just don't like bras i don't um oh. how does my makeup look okay looks okay i don't really like bras but anyway this is a bra that I remember my last vlog i was showing you guys like um a haul and whatever and i got this very nice very pretty bra that looks very comfortable it is actually comfortable i am just being a little bitch <laughs> i'm just being a small rat that i have to complain about it but in retrospective it is very very comfortable like extremely comfortable but it's still a bra so it's annoying on that factor yeah there's a lot happening like there's a lot of commotion around okay they're building that there's a, there's a lot of sh things happening. Anyway, let us go and do my shopping. Shop, shop, but it's not really. Sh what, why do I say shopping? Whatever. You guys know I like to talk, talk, talk when I'm driving. 
I always when I pass um, when I pass a police station a police station when I pass a traffic a police it looks at me and like am I supposed to like stop you or just let you be because it's not like I'm speaking on phone I am literally I have a camera on so I think to them it's always like is this legal should I let you you're crossing when I'm trying to join the road dummy I don't know that I know like I see that look in their face they're like we're not sure if this is legal like if we're supposed to let you I may or may not like go for um, the I, I may or may not go to the movies this evening I'm not sure it depends on how the day goes because I wanted to go watch inside out 2 at the cinemas it's been a while since I went to the movies, so I kind of want to go. It's going to be more of like a, a solo um, date, movie day situation. But I am thinking of going though. I don't know. It all depends on how I... What am I saying? It depends on the day. Like, it depends on if I'm going to have time. Because, okay, though the one in West... The one in Westgate, the cinema in Westgate has, ooh, they've packed Bentleys only. They have the Continental, the Bentiaga. Damn, damn. Okay, okay, what was I saying? Right, the cinemas at, the cinemas at um, Westgate, I don't know what they're called, but the one at Westgate, has um showing at 11 but you know i've already passed 11 so i cannot do 11 at 11 and at 2 40 at 4 40 and at 7 and at 9 of course that will not work for me and then the one at sarit center i think the one sarit center is like imax or something i don't know the one at sarit has at four I was trying to see if I'm gonna I can catch the one at four. Or maybe tomorrow the one for eleven tomorrow morning. I don't know. But we'll see. Don't come too close to me, yo. I don't want people to come so like to your nose like this, like they're sniffing your butt. Why would you come that close to me? I have a car that goes back before it goes front on a hill. Like those people who like have you ever seen those people when they drive there's a truck in front of you on a hill and then you're right there on its nose right down its butt for me ah, I don't park my car I don't park my car and wait for you to finish because I am not following you behind I am not going to die on the road and I'm, sp I'm speaking of that and there's a big ass truck coming down no, it's never really good on either side if you're down on a hill and it's behind you you risk it losing its brakes and like running you over literally okay and if you are behind it up a hill you risk getting run over again if it loses its traction and start coming down so i don't like being anywhere near trucks at all i do not finally made it to the moon so imagine <laughs> I was speaking I have been speaking to you guys since I left my house apparently I wasn't even filming I wasn't so right now it's 2 10 and I'm trying to make it to the 240 showing I'm trying to make it to the 240 showing and I have like 10 15 minutes to get to Westgate Mall so that I can have like time to you know go and like get um, situated here's the thing though I'm assuming there's not a lot of people because one it's a Wednesday kids are in school I'm going to watch a cartoon so the kids are in school okay so I'm just gonna like I'm probably like gonna be like what very very minimal people very minimal people in the cinema because here's the thing okay 
when we went to i remember the last time we went to the cinemas um we went to watch the little mermaid and we watched a 7 p.m showing on a saturday night Woo! it was jam-packed with kids adults like us who always watch <laughs> But that was a live action, so a lot of people actually did watch them. But now for me, I'm actually going to watch a cartoon. I'm going to watch Inside Out 2. That's cute. That's a nice car. So, I don't believe, like, I believe there's not going to be a lot of people there. They're gonna, it's going to be, it's going to be okay. So, yeah, we have 15 minutes to make it to Westgate so that I can have, like, 15 minutes to get settled. Where is that cinema, though? Right. Um... Okay, I went to the Westgate Cinema a while ago. Quite a while ago. I like the Sarit Center one, but um, the Sarit Center one, I like that one, but here's the thing, it is, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't have like, the, the showing they have is like for seven, and I don't wanna go um, for a 7 p.m. showing. So I decided at Westgate. It was either Westgate or Junction Mall. Westgate is closer than Junction Mall from my house. It's weird, but it is. So, yeah, let's head over. The traffic is not bad because it is not traffic hour, so it's not even supposed to be there. It's not traffic hour. Today is Friday, July 5th. It's about 3.20 in the afternoon. And I know I do my shower vlogs on a Sunday, but today I was just feeling like it. I just changed my sheets, I've cleaned my room, I've done everything. I've mostly done what I do on Sunday, on Friday, because I had a lazy day yesterday. Um, I had a lazy day yesterday, I had a lazy morning today, so this afternoon is quiet productive okay also my hair is very very itchy and i feel like it's kind of, it's quite dirty because so guys for the shampoo i'm using this care care yes care care anti-dandruff moisturizing uh, shampoo it's for dry and itchy scalp that's what i am using this is what I have. Very, it just cut right now. Basically, oops. I just like focus on my scalp, not even like the length of my hair. I just literally just focus on getting the shampoo in my scalp. Because when, when I'm washing um, this locks or anything, basically braids in general, I just focus on my energy, on the scalp, because that's what we need to clean, not the like length of the hair. The first round is just to massage it in and like get the initial like oils and sweats out. Not really like really really wash it. Just get it in there. Going into the second round and that's where like I focus on really really scrubbing my scalp. Yeah. 
handheld um, shower head so that I can be able to like properly, uh, properly rinse. So guys, for the treatment, I am going in with this Mizani Transfusion. It's basically, um, it's a treatment. <laughs> this is a treatment I'm using. I'm just gonna put a little bit of amount, what? A little amount on the head. Okay, let's pray to Jesus that it holds. Oh my God, God, please hold. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. It's not completely fitting, but at least it's up and it's holding. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit as I as I shave my body. <laughs> okay guys, so it's been like 20, almost 30 minutes. So, whoo, let us rinse off the treatment on my head. I don't know where to place this. I'm just gonna place it on the floor. It's time to rinse it off. It's been dripping on my face the whole time, like, you know? Now I need to like wash my body. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do with this hair. Okay, so guys, um, it is so much later. Um, it is about 6.05 Okay, can you see it's 6.05 and I need to work on the video that's supposed to go up today Let me explain. I know the last time we saw each other in this vlog. I was What was I doing? I was um, I changed my shoes and everything So I got so much into the mood of cleaning that I ended up even washing my hair and everything So when I was waiting for my hair to like dry and everything I came here to like uh, like let me start editing now Here's a tea my computer decided to be a little bitch because it wasn't like trying to work the monitor the monitor The mouse wasn't working and everything so I was like how am I gonna fix this? I just searched online and people and people um, explaining are like disconnect the Bluetooth and then reconnect. But in my head I'm like, it's not even responsive. So how the fuck am I gonna turn off the Bluetooth? So eventually I decided to just restart the whole system. Um, and then I went to sit outside. <laughs> I sat outside for like 45 minutes. I was on TikTok waiting for my hair to dry and everything. So now we need to see. Actually, it's not like we need to see. We need to do this. I'm gonna be here like for the next hour and a half. I need, I'm not gonna get out of this chair until this video is up on YouTube. So, let's get started on it because, you know, if we keep on talking, we're not gonna get to it. So, I kinda wanna do, um, um, before I even like edit the whole video, I wanna do like, an intro video like um, highlight for the video so that I can be able to post that on my other social media platforms to promote this video that's something that I kind of want to start doing so that I can be able to drive people into coming to my YouTube channel and watching so I want to create about 30 minutes 30 minutes what about 15 to 30 seconds um, highlight of the video so I'm gonna post that on YouTube shorts as well um, before even the video goes up, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna post the, the the highlights for the video before the video goes up on YouTube Shorts, and then after it's up, I'm gonna post it on my TikTok and my Instagram with a link that you know for the people who want to see more of it. So let us work on the um, on the 30 seconds intro first. Let's work on that and then um, we're going to continue editing the rest of the video.
기억나니 어떤 밤바다 우리의 수줍었던 첫 키스 생각나니 울고 불며 너의 옷 차락 잡에 꽤 만든 너의 눈빛 I can't stand the thought of you Even from your point of view I trust you up so you can change your mind It's the things you chose to do Countless nights and crying over you downstairs and like watching um something no, something downstairs so before i actually wrap up i am excited we have crossed the 1200 um line of subscribers we are at what 1201 maybe yeah i am excited i know it's like not a lot but my channel is growing every single day we're getting new people we are at 100 we are at 12 102 i am so excited this is so fun for me because i get to see like you know how am i putting it i like seeing growth okay more more and more of you guys are deciding to subscribe to my channel and i love it so next target is 1300 we're gonna go like that we're going in hundreds until we hit the 10,000 um goal by the end of the year so with that said i'm going to wrap up this video right here if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel join my little family we have fun over here and yeah guys i'm definitely going to see you in my next vlog adios She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's